This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. God bless every one of you that are under the sound of my voice. Again, this is Apostle Jean Morris bringing to you a word from the Lord. Yes, AJMM Radio 24 is going forth in Jesus' name. We give God the glory for the word. Amen. And certainly we look to the Spirit of God today. God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that your power will prevail and that the wisdom of God will prevail. In the name of Jesus, Lord, that your strength will prevail against every opposition, Lord, and every enemy that is incense against this ministry of Jesus Christ. And now, Lord, I commit these next minutes to you and believe you for victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, beloved, in all of our ways, we acknowledge the Lord that he may direct our paths. And certainly we want this word, amen, coming directly from the Holy Ghost that we may be strengthened in the faith. I'm going to read again from Malachi, the fourth chapter, a very familiar scripture, which I often, amen, refer to. It says, but unto you. Now, we notice that it doesn't have a general introduction. It says, unto you that fear my name. Here, the word of God is being very specific and it has a particular direction that is going to those that fear the name of the Lord. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son, capital S-U-N of righteousness, arise with healing in his wings. The Son of righteousness is Christ, the Son of the living God capital S-O-N, but here he is styled as capital S-U-N. For those of you, this is maybe your first time hearing this teaching. Jesus is the greatest light that could ever shine. Also, as being a light, he is also, amen, a source. He is a source who becomes a resource. Amen. And we allow ourselves to be positioned so that the capital S-U-N can shine in our lives. The scripture says that he arises with healing in his wings. Another translation says rays, and we shall go forth. This is the results of our being positioned, that the capital S-U-N shines in our lives, and also the righteousness that comes from him is from Amen. That which will give us what we need to have physical healing, financial healing, mental healing, healing in our spirits. Healing is the children's bread, and we are the children of Abraham by faith in Jesus Christ. But unto you that fear my name shall the Son, capital S-U-N of Righteousness, Arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go forth. You shall go forth. This is where our faith, amen, comes in that we speak a word. We shall go forth, and you shall go forth. That is the prophetic word that is written, established spoken, amen, and secured, and you shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. Well, yes, there is a process. There is a process, but thank God through the Holy Ghost, amen, we have victory to become that which God would have us to, to be mature saints. The Bible says grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 
as we grow, we go on. The Bible said going on to perfection. That's what the scripture says. So as a child, when a child first begins in certain levels of learning, they start with error. But then as they go on, their skill is perfected. From the perfected skill, they're able to position themselves. Sometimes they're asked or they fill out a form. They write to show their abilities. Well, the scripture has let us know, let your light so shine that men may see your good work and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Why? Because we know that what God has Bless the people of God with what he has blessed us with. It, it doesn't originate with us. It's because of him and the spirit of God that has been given unto us who will bring all things to our remembrance. That is the promise of Jesus. And he said whatsoever that he had said, the spirit of God will bring it to our remembrance. And then another scripture that lets us know that a man Christ is made unto us wisdom whatever that we need to know, whatever that we need to study, whatever we need to know, amen, to go forth and to have to, that we may be able to do exceeding abundantly through Christ. Amen. There are others that will be left behind. You know why? Because they have chosen the wrong source. And sometimes we can't take them with us. Amen. Because there are people that they have, at whore. They don't want Jesus. And people that don't want Jesus, amen, they do they do they want what he has. So he has the greatest. Amen. There is no light that shines greater than the S U N that we see every day. Oh, if it's cloudy, it's it'll be back. Amen. There is no source greater than God. So therefore, we look to him having our faith directed to his ability, to his prosperity. And one scripture has guaranteed us, now unto him that is able to do exceeding and abundant above all that we can ask or think according to the power that is in him. That's who we look to. He is our source and our resource. When we do that, we have the blessed assurance that we shall overcome. If you have not yet completely surrendered your life to the Lord Jesus, for him to be your savior, for the spirit of God to be your guide, for the people of God to be your family in the spirit, that doesn't mean that you... Amen. Deny and uh, separate yourself totally from the physical family. Amen. But you want God to be your father. And you want the people of God to be able to be able to help you. Amen. We then as workers together. So if you have not yet positioned yourself to receive that which God has for you. Let me encourage you to do it today. The scripture says you must be born again. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. And the old things are passed away and behold, all things are become new and amen. And all things are of God. Repent and believe the gospel. God is able to do exceeding, abundant, above that which we can either ask or think. Remember that again. Remember that. Amen. Ask God to forgive you and let him know that you want to be a part of all that he is, all that he can do. Amen. And you want to position yourself to be his child forever and ever. God, in the name of Jesus, these that are hearing this word that have not totally surrendered to you, we lose your wisdom upon them. We lose your strength upon them, that they will be able to yield to the spirit of adoption, that they may become one of yours in essence, Lord. 
In Jesus' name, we lose repentance in their minds and in their spirits. And we give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, beloved, God bless you. Come back on tomorrow. God bless you.